going on, Cody? <laughs> <laughs> Over here. How are you? What's up, buddy? Good to see you, Cody. Good to see you, man. Almost. Almost. Nearly, 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 nearly. That's why we can't have nice things, right? Cody, great to see you, man. Great to see that beaming, smiling face as well. I'm happy to be here. Well, good. That's what we like to see. because. Well, talk to me about that. Any any difficulties overnight as uh, as you were cutting back down? You no, know, I think the preparation is um, what was great. Uh, Dr. Mateo has me dialed in. You know, last fight was at 125, so a little bit different, you know, um, approach. And I was able to really, you know, use the camp longer. I didn't have to focus on too much about the weight cut. You know, I finished camp strong all the way up to the fight. This morning I was about an hour and a half of working out, hitting pads, wrestling. So still, you know, developing those skills the day before the fight. And getting the last you know a few pounds off, so it was a great weight cut. Hats off to him. He's he's a he's a professional. I'm, I'm so happy to work with him. Good we one. know, Cody, what you're capable of. Yes. We were just talking about it before that fight against Dominic Cruz. One of the best performances that we've, anyone's ever. I'm put actually going to go back and watch it today because no, it, it, no, it yeah. was though. It, go it, it really was. It was just technical brilliance. I mean, the boxing, the the footwork, the wrestling, everything was was top notch. You know, and then you know it's a tough sport, right? Where are you mentally in your mind? <clears throat> That's great that you bring it up. I think that's something that I've worked on more than I ever have. Yeah. Because I think that you're trying to find something different each camp. Oh, I need to do more of this and mm. on a physical side. You know, but we're fighters. You know, I, I was born. This to fight. controls everything. Everything. You know, what the mind believes and the, it, it, it follows. You know, so uh, working on the middle side is what I really dived into the last year that I moved here, working with Micah uh, at the PI, the UFC, you know, a therapist. You know, he's a, was in MLB. Went through his, you know, professional career, and you know now he's teaching us how to deal with some of these thoughts and anxiety or excitement, and how to, you know, focus and be engaged. I think the last two fights that, um, you know, I was preparing for, obviously physically ready to go, but mentally just kind of numb, yeah. walking down, no excitement. I'd rather be afraid or have these feelings of, you know, adrenaline. I, I was numb going to the fights, and, uh, and it showed I was I wasn't engaged. So. He's helped me, you know, have senses of, you know, be, help me engage in there. So uh, I'm excited. I use them all camp and not just outside of, you know, my fight career, my life, you know, uh, really honing on things that were important and not trying to control or hold on to things that really wasn't important at the time and just being engaged in the present. You were talking earlier about your move to Las Vegas and building this new team around you. It kind of, I get a feeling like we've pushed the reset button on Cody Garbrandt and the Cody Garbrandt that we saw as one, the one-time king of the bantamweight division. Are we going to see him? Is he coming back? Is, is, is that, that's what it feels like. Everything feels new. You're like a new contender again. Yeah, I feel great um, about that, you know, having the new coaches, new new teammates. You know, obviously I moved here. I, I love Team Alpha. I miss those guys so much. They were so much of my success, so yeah. much of my early growth of, as a young man. I came out there at 22 years old and, you know, I was 1-0 as a pro and became a world champion 11-0 later with them. And uh, forever grateful for them. Those are my brothers, you know. And, became family. Uh, became yeah, they became family. They became yeah. family, yeah. you know. And I'm still very close with those guys. Talked to them a lot. Um, but obviously family comes first. My son's out here. He's, thir- he's flourishing. He's, he's healthy. He's happy. So super blessed with that. But, yeah, I feel just excited to get in there. I haven't had these feelings in quite some time. Yeah, I went through good. so many coaches, you know, since 2016. I had momentum and I had structure and routine. My life was... Yeah. I had control of it. Yeah. I had structure. And that's the, probably the key word, structure. And I had consistency. And I feel like the last year that I had been out here, I had three fight camps that didn't prosper. But I went through those, you know, and they were two weeks out from the fights. I had to pull out, you know, opponent or myself, you know. So I, I've been through the grind and got my coaches and with Dewey Cooper, Chase Pammy, all my teammates here, Javid, Farid's fighting. We, we trained O'Day. Um, it's been just phenomenal. Twilight Timmy, the kid's probably going to be in the UFC real soon. Um, just a stable of great, like-minded people that are showing up, giving me their all, and it's been great. I built a team around me and things that I needed to do, and also the mental aspect of it. You say you were going through the grind. I mean, you've been going through the grind your entire life. Right. The physical, as you said, the physical side's there. Without question, I mean, you know, I remember you telling me stories about you and your brother when you were young. You were always getting into scraps and things like that. So you're, you're a lifelong fighter and you've got the skills to back that up. And now, finally, you feel that the mind, the mental side is all kind of catching up to the physical. Definitely, I think that it goes hand in hand. I'm obviously I'm all confident going to a fight, you know, and, and the physical stress that you put in camp and, you know, putting yourself in those dark places. But, 
you know, the mind puts yourself in dark places. Mm. You have so many thoughts that go through your mind and they'd be good and be bad. You know, it's to deal with them, why they're there, why they're showing up. Don't hold on to them and, and move forward. So not being stuck on them and moving forward on, on, on the good stuff because, I mean, the mind is so powerful and we have so many thoughts throughout our day, you know, and why are these things here? I know, like, going into a fight or walking out and 20,000 people are going crazy to watch you fight and you have no feelings about it, you know. Mm. So just focus on being engaged and, and the game plan and just the, what I have to do inside there to get this win. So yeah. just regain that composure and that, that confidence of going in there knowing I did every single thing from top to bottom to get this win tomorrow. What have you made of the development of the division at Bantamweight over the last mm. few years? Look, I wasn't too long ago I was the top of the division. You know, it's not changed. You know, it's, re- it's really not. You know, you have Aljamain Sterling as the champion. A lot of the guys that I defeated, Dominic Cruz is still in the top ten. He's still there. You know, it's not too much. The sport has evolved. Yeah. But if you look at it, it's, it's, it's still right there. You know, it's, a, it's momentum, you know. Yeah. Not looking past this fight, but, you know, get this fight going and, I know I'll get on a roll, and I'm excited just to perform. That's it. So, Trevin Jones, then, Saturday night, tomorrow night. Yes. How does this go down, my friend? Mm-hmm. Honestly, I feel any way I want to fight, I think I can take him out. You think you've feet. got him beat everywhere? Everywhere. This yeah. is the most complete martial artist I've been to date um, on a physicality standpoint, but a mental side. I know that, you know, whatever I'm able to do inside there, he won't be able to... You know, if I take him to deep waters, I know I drown him. You know, wherever it's on the feet, on the ground, mixing it together... I'm just excited to go out there and perform. So don't call it a comeback, yeah. but Cody Garbrandt is back. back. Absolutely. No love's in the house. That's Listen, just to, just to finish off, yeah. can you stop posting pictures of yourself on social media in Lycra after you've been, swi- after you've, after you've been on the cycling, man, right? Because all, all the keen cyclists out there, they can't compete with that oh, physique. Yeah. Now, all right? yeah. Nobody looks good in Lycra by you. So I try to. It. I try to get all the crazy jazz ones, the best <laughs> ones. But yeah, cycling was great. You know, I, was, I used that implement going to 125. I'd be on those bikes for quite some time me and my buddy Vince Murdoch that was on the ultimate fighter he got into cycling pretty heavily because yeah, yeah. he had his uh, brain that surgery so he couldn't yeah, yeah. you know take impact so he started cycling we were out there you know doing 100 miles at a time so uh, I'm no problem fun. with your cycling it's the yeah. gear, it's the gear. Know, oh, I, okay. I can't keep up with oh, you yeah, you know yeah. what I mean yeah, all right. you put him results to share <laughs> do, 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 you, do you cycle <laughs> on the streets streets yep right and let me ask you this do you cycle side by side when there's cars behind no, you because if you do I'm going to run you <laughs> over <laughs> no because you're a total knobhead if you do no. and I will beep and I will honk the horse it gets over you want trying to pass you want single file please no so if there's a there's a bike sign, all right, you, you got to share the bike. Okay. You got to share, share with the, the, the bikers, you know. But uh, no, I, I actually being a cyclist made me a better driver. I'm like looking out for yeah, yeah, yeah. get a bike, Mike. Get yeah. a bike because you know what I mean. I'm I'm I've, been hit, I've been hit once. Me and Paul Felder. There you, oh, there, there you go. go. There you go. Let's go. Got it. Enjoy uh, the next it, 24 hours as you rehydrate, my yes, man. Sir. And we're looking forward to seeing you do your thing once again, buddy. Take care, mate. Get in there, man. Good, good luck. Well done, buddy. Good to it's see you. Good purple, Mike. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Get him some lycra. Get him some purple <laughs> lycra. I've had a lot of compliments <laughs> and I've had a lot of insults on this shirt today. I don't know. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. <laughs>